timid. <laughs> a timid acceleration to begin with. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and probably the biggest video I have ever filmed or the biggest day of my life and I have not thought about this video one bit so you're gonna have to bear with me and hopefully you're gonna enjoy this collection video of my Lamborghini. I have always had a dream from such a young age of even 12, 13 of owning a Lamborghini by 25 and not having a clue about how I was going to do it. However, I'm starting this video out here in the park. This is where me and my best friend used to come and play football and spend hours talking about supercars, about YouTube and talking about what we were going to do when we were older. And nowhere in this conversation did I ever think that I was going to be one in the position to be picking up my Lamborghini today but also two I didn't know how I was going to get to this position so this video is going to be a whole whirlwind of emotions as I go to Southern Sky Motorcars to collect my 2011 Lamborghini LP560 Bicolori edition. It's just insane and it's going to be an awesome video as well. I've got Jack coming over who you may recognise already from some of my videos but also on the Yanomai's channel or even Ezekiel HD Gaming. He has got a rose gold Nissan GTR. It's one of my favourite GTRs that I've ever seen before. He is going to be kindly giving me a lift down to Southern Sky Motors. We're also going to have stolen images there who are going to be filming a behind the scenes video. I always wanted to vlog this day. I'd never want to do anything different. I didn't want to make this a special um, exception to the YouTube channel. This is just a daily vlog, but it is, it's an awesome, awesome experience that's gonna happen. I haven't even had it yet, but um, I don't really know what else to say apart from these guys are blowing leaves over here. Um, so let's just jump into the Nissan GTR, talk to you a little bit more about how I got to this point. And I cannot believe, and I'm so appreciative of the fact that I'm sharing this day with so many of you guys that have joined me on my Supercars of London journey, all the way from the beginning up until the R8 and over the last 14 months to today, where I make my dreams come true of picking up a Lamborghini. Bloody leaf blower, ruining my intro. So Jack has arrived and I realized that this is the first time that I've even shown his car on my YouTube channel. Jack, poke your head out the window. <laughs> Look how insane that is. So not only am I going to pick a Lambo up today, I'm going to pick it up in the only rose gold Nissan GTR owned and driven by Jack. So we're going to cruise down there and on the way down, we are just going to be discussing the feels of picking up a new car, I think. That's probably yeah. the best way because yeah. Jack's okay. recently picked this up and then done a bit of tuning upgrades and then wrapped it. So he's already gone through what I'm about to go through today. So I can't wait. I'm going to jump in the passenger seat and uh, let's get on the way. Look how good it looks. Yanni did a good job on this one. I've forgotten how to open this car. <sighs> hey, that's not too bad. Hopefully we can stay like that. We haven't got a mat, we haven't got a suction cup. This is literally resting on Jack's dashboard. Yeah, I'm trying not to corner too hard. <laughs> which is which is hard in this car. It is, yeah. It's so good and grippy. So we're heading over, oh no. <laughs> so we're now on our way to Southern Sky Motors, which is just outside of Horsham. And I'm, I'm getting sweaty palms. I'm like getting, I'm getting yeah. nervous. <laughs> I'm getting nervous for you. I haven't seen it yet, um, but it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So it's a 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 Bicolori Special Edition. So there's only 250 in the world and 160 came out of the factory in white. I don't think mine's going to stay white, but we'll leave that for a separate video. Um, I think a few of them have been written off as well. Touch wood, mine isn't, but yeah. a lot of, uh, there's a few white cars that have been written off. So I, there's definitely less than 160 now in the world. It is an insane car. I don't really know, I'm not going to be able to put into words too much how I feel throughout the day. I'm just going to vlog and hopefully you guys can get some sort of, some sort of message across. Yeah, about it's how, kind of emotion of is, how amazing it's going to be for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, now I've got this. And literally, look, I'm steaming up your car. We're going left here? Yeah, we're going left here, yeah. All right. I'm steaming up your car. I'm going to take my hoodie off. So all of those, all of those out there that have collected new cars, bought new cars, and had their collection day. How did yeah. you feel? There's someone completely staring. Yeah, not, I know. not making They've it. Been driving alongside us for ages. I really. Yeah. 
<laughs> so talk me through your collection day of this. Like, how are you feeling? Um, well, I've looked at GTRs before, and I just hadn't seen one I, that I liked. I walked in the showroom, saw this one, I was like, uh -oh. I didn't expect to buy one on that day, but I thought, you know what, it's like 40 minutes away from my house. I don't want to like drive back the next day or anything. Yeah. And I was like, I want to take it away today. And I just got that, you know that butterfly feeling when you're yeah. buying it? Yeah. But at the same time, because you spent so much money on it, you're like, is this the right it, decision? Yeah, yeah, it's nerve wracking um, as yeah. well at the same time. You bought a supercar before and you're still, you're probably still getting that, is this the right decision? Because it's a step up. Yeah. But as soon as you start driving it and you're thinking, yeah, this is, this is why I bought it. Yeah, that is something that I don't think I've ever touched upon. Maybe in the Audi R8 first drive, when I was like, really nervous about driving yeah. it. Look, there's someone taking a picture. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was really nervous about driving it, and it is one of those, it's such a huge decision to make. Yeah. Uh, one, it's a lot of money, but two, at the same time, like, it's a massive risk in it. Yeah, it is. And, oh, it's, it's, um, and even when I got my car wrapped, because obviously this cost a bit, I was thinking, is that really the right decision as well? And then you see it. But then I, I got in it, drove it, yeah. people taking pictures yeah. of something. And, yeah, you know, yeah, this is the right decision. Because on social media, you kind of get something back from it, yeah. not just from like you know the attention. You get like yeah. a little bit of social following, a bit of hype around your channel, so it's, it's all it's, good. It's, oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah I can't believe I don't, I've never really talked upon that. So today I'm going to be filming this collection video, and and then once I leave, I'm going to be starting the next video that's going live tomorrow, which is the first drive. And I did that in the R8, and I stalled it the first time because it was really? manual. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't but blame me. The Lamborghini is E-Gear, e which is on the semi-automatic paddles. Like these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, like that, things, but this yeah. has got double clutch. Yeah. So... Mine's only single clutch, so there's no launch controls to be done, or otherwise right. I will be spending. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, not in this car. Just plants the power down. Ten minute check. I think we're about five minutes out now. I'm starting yeah. to get nervous again. I can make it two minutes if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be good for your fuel efficiency. No, no, I've got any fuel to get back. Will I? Yeah. So we are now driving these lovely country roads that you can see here. We've just had. A papaya orange McLaren 650S drive the other way because we're quite close to Woking. So it was obviously on test, it had McLaren plates. And just seeing that car and seeing a petrol station, I was like, mm, yeah, the supercar dream is becoming yeah. real now. <laughs> so this is like the sticks of Surrey and West Sussex. I think we're coming into West Sussex pretty soon. But look at these roads. Super smooth, very That's wide. Put down right now. Go on, put your foot down. <laughs> Bloody hell, that is seriously quick. We got it again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to keep up, aren't they? The photographers behind. Yeah, we've got stolen images behind, quite far behind at the moment. And we are, yeah, five minutes out. We're not, we're not far from Southern Sky Motors now. Right, it is where these, where these people are walking with right. the dogs. So that's where we are going. Look at that. So we're here, Southern Sky Motors, waiting for the, the gate to go. Is the, is, the, is the Lamborghini in the showroom or down. is it outside? Going up that way. Yeah. I8. Oh yeah, I8. Yeah, and I can't see the Lamborghini. Oh look, look, there's my beast. There it is. Oh, and there's another oh, piece. Oh, look at that, <laughs> next to each other. And here we are, Southern Sky Motors, to collect my new Lamborghini. But here we go, guys. I'm down at Southern Sky Motor Cars now to pick up my Lamborghini LP560 Bicolore, which is here, here? I'm trying to think. So we came down in the rose gold Nissan GTR, owned by Jack. And we've got Southern Sky, no, we've got Southern Sky Motors here, we've got stolen images here. And yeah, they're just getting some awesome shots of the car. They've got some awesome cars here. They've got a V8 R8, V10 R8, they've got a Porsche cab, something like that over there. They've got a Cayman. I'm not sure which one this is, a Cayman R, which is a pretty beast. Aston Martin, Bentley, R8, more awesome cars here. A very familiar car that you will know. 
script. I've just spent the last 15 minutes on the phone to my insurer company so that I could swap the R8 insurance to the Lamborghini, which are sitting nicely next to each other over there. And the woman that I spoke to didn't know what a Lamborghini was, needed me to spell it, needed me to spell Gallardo, needed me to spell out everything, everything, just so that they could flip the insurance between the R8 and the Lamborghini. But here it is. We're gonna jump in it and then go over some of the controls so that I know exactly how to drive it, where the nose lift is, where all of the different buttons are and all of that sort of stuff. And then I'm gonna be jumping in it. And I suppose that's it. Like um, the guys down here have had everything sorted and prepared so that I can just jump in and leave. But I kind of want to spend as long, <laughs> as much down here, as, as much time down here as possible because this place is absolutely awesome. I'm standing behind this insanely coloured Rolls Royce Ghost that is actually sold. Um, and yeah. <laughs> just juggling juggling the water and of course I wanted to just spend as much time down here as possible and then uh, it's time to like, jump on the road and then do a bit of a first drive video which I suppose I don't know whether what, what do you guys prefer do you guys prefer the collection video of me coming down here or do you prefer the first drive I suppose the first drive's got a little bit more action uh, but there's gonna be two collection videos so stolen images here are gonna be filming the behind the scenes of what is going on and um, I think it's time to jump in to the car, grab the keys, and uh, have a bit of a play around inside. <laughs> I feel that go up, and I'm sure the camera moved as well. So we're literally moving it 10 or 15 yards. Do you want to like stand up the front and... You trust your driver, it's probably seat belt. <laughs> Just going <laughs> to 10 yards. Okay, so handbrake is down, foot on the brake. I'm now in first gear. It's told me that I'm in first gear. And like, or not like automatic, you take your foot off the brake and it doesn't do anything. So when you put your foot on the accelerator, it's when it starts finding the biting point. Timid. <laughs> A timid acceleration to begin with. And it's so weird with the offset offset pedals having to like move so far over. You get used to it very, very quickly. Yeah. It is the first time you've been in this. And there we go. So, I have now driven the car out here. Slightly turn the wheel so that we can get some nice pictures of it from the side, but it looks awesome. Recording. Ah, oh, I've been doing a nice little sweep. Yeah, <laughs> I've just been doing a nice sweep down the car and realised I haven't been recording, so I'm not sure what I've got of that, but basically all I said was I'm in love with the car and I've turned the wheel slightly so we can get some good pictures of these guys. These guys are getting the angles and um, Jack's car is in the background. I think what we're going to try and do now, we're going to try and do a bit of an impromptu photo shoot, try and get some really nice pictures outside Southern Sky Motors, and then I suppose it's time for me to say goodbye at the end of the collection video and then go for a first drive. So I think what we need to do now is uh, get Jack's Nissan GTR in the frame. Actually, no, what we're going to do now is take pictures of the car by itself and then get Jack's car in the frame. So we're now moving all three of those cars to get that one underneath the Southern Sky. I, I, don't, know, I don't know why I'm explaining this because you would have already seen it on Instagram anyway, but that's what is going in to getting this Instagram picture. The Lamborghini is there. Those three cars are right outside the front. Jack, do you want to move, do you want to move them? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to take them all for a blast? Yeah. Let's take them home. Yeah. Here comes the old car. Looking good as always. I prefer your A1 to be honest. Yeah. We're getting attacked by one. Another wasp. Whoa. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right underneath. Wherever you park, I'll park next to it. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh. I'll get Southern Sky in there as yeah. well. Like that? Yeah, perfect. So, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, man. Let's have a look. Maybe do, do we, yeah, do one more yeah. like, and I'll actually smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Cool, can we get that? So there's a wasp infestation down at Southern Sky Motors, but it's actually the drone which is going on in the background. 
And now I think it is a perfect time for me to say, or to sign off from today's video. So what I would like to do now is thank every single person who has ever watched one of my videos and made this possible. The Lamborghini dream has been complete to own a Lamborghini by the age of 25. And uh, to be honest, I don't really know what to say, but I'd just like to thank every single one of you guys for supporting the Supercars of London YouTube channel, but also all of the social platforms that I am a part of. And from now on, the Audi R8 is gone. There'll be no more living with an Audi R8 and it is going to be time to live with a Lamborghini LP560-4 Bicolori. There's going to be so many adventures and so much fun to be had with this car. Cue all of the questions on what colour it is going to go when it gets wrapped and also what exhaust system is happening. But that is going to be happening in the future. For now, I'd like to say thank you. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new. Give it a thumbs up for the Lamborghini and also for Southern Sky Motorcars. The R8 is for sale here, so come down, check it out. And um, yeah, like I'd, I'd just like to say thanks to these guys. They've been absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to take this on the road and make some pretty awesome videos. So Supercars of London is stepping up a gear, guys. It's Lamborghini time, so uh, I'm gonna go for a drive now and start filming my first drive before this battery runs out. So thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. But as you can see behind me, the car is being prepped for the photo shoot that we're about to do. The car has been de-chromed, black gloss wheels. It's now having a bit of a tire shine, and it's also